Hey everybody, it's Dan again. <clears throat> As you can see, I kind of got my grow room up and running a little bit. Uh, it's pretty much a mess though. <laughs> Get crap everywhere. The warm factory down there, that's new since last year. Got the hydroponics set up. Just sitting there dead right now. So, <clears throat> hopefully sometime this winter I'll get that going, but uh, I just want to bring it down here because I'm kind of tree collards in here. We've been talking about those last few weeks. We got lots of green growth that look really good. They're all doing really well. Rosemary, I always keep that. It's like three years old or something like that. Just keep it in here and just goes over here. Never is a problem. Here's my lemon tree. I'm having some issues with this. So you can see I brought it in and it lost all its leaves. Uh, so I had some shock, but as you can see here, I got some little tips. Right there for the focus. Alright, there. Just looking for some advice, maybe, to figure out how to best help this plant. Um, did get some sit some uh, some of this in it. A little bit of that, just because I know I haven't fertilized it ever. Um, but I don't have a problem, I think it was straight shock from the temperature going from outside to inside. Um, <clears throat> I also have some problems with this thing and the pH level. So let's look at how ways I can lower the pH to get this a little better. And it's things like a four and a half or five right now, which is pretty low. So, anybody, be helpful. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.